Hey yo, what is poppin' everyone? So today we're gonna build Meredith's enclosure. You might not know who Meredith is, but I'll show you in a second. She is a Florida box turtle, which is recently like blown up on TikTok, which I wasn't expecting. But yeah, I'm gonna build her an enclosure and now I'm out with the dogs and the camera is becoming foggy because it's early in the morning and it's very humid. So I'll see you guys at the hardware store because I need to grab some nails. All right, so I'm at my local hardware store and I need to find nails because I don't have them and I cannot build the enclosure without nails, you know. Kind of need them to keep it together. So let me find some. All right, so I don't think I've ever shown you guys this, but I have redfoot tortoises and this is their enclosure right now. I built it a while ago. I, I just kind of forgot to pick up the camera. I just wasn't in the mood. I was kind of sick, so I didn't do it. Let me see if I can find some of them. There's three, there's two larger ones and the little ones probably under here or not it's somewhere in here I can't get out but all right time to build Meredith's cage right here I've got some of the wood and supplies that I'm gonna need I got the screws but this is like a um, repurposed wood so as you can see there's nails in here so I'm gonna have to clip those so no one gets injured on this enclosure because I also don't want to step on a nail while building this again yeah, it's already happened. So I got my tools, this, and this. That's all I'm gonna need. I already chopped off the tips of the nails off this wood so I don't stab myself. I thought I was recording, but I guess I wasn't. I guess I'm kinda slow. I also put the wood together like this. I haven't nailed anything yet. This is just to see what it's gonna look like. And I think that's gonna be enough room for a Florida box turtle. They're not the biggest turtles. I'm gonna create a little waddle, like water area so I can just chill. And yeah, this should be enough, I think. It's just one turtle, so it's not like I'm keeping a bunch in here. And I've seen much worse. Time to nail this stuff together so it doesn't fall apart. All right guys, so now I have uh, the frame set up. And I'm just gonna screw this in so it doesn't move and then I'm gonna place these pieces of wood over the edge So if Meredith tries climbing up, she's gonna be hit by a little ledge and she's gonna be tipped back down so she cannot escape I've got my screws right here, which I just bought Now I just gotta screw this thing in All right guys, so now that I'm done screwing on these, I'm gonna screw on the tops so Meredith can't climb out. All right, so I'm almost done. I just have this one piece. This is eight foot, but I need to cut it so that it's gonna fit right there. Because as you can see, it's a lot shorter of an eight foot. But these two on the sides fit perfectly. I'm gonna go grab my saw and I'm gonna be right back. All right guys, so I got my saw right here. I'm gonna set it down. So what I'm gonna need to do right here is since I don't wanna get a ruler out or anything, I don't want to get my, my yard stick out. So I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to put this right there. And I'm just going to look at the length. And with my saw, take my saw and make a little mark. Right there. And that's where I'll cut. And then once I got that piece, I'll make sure that it fits. And then put it next to the other piece and put another little mark and then saw it again. That's what I'm going to do.
All right, now I'm done sawing these two pieces. So I can screw them down to there. And I also feel like there's a storm coming, which is not good for us because I have to get this done before it starts pouring. Now the fence is done, so Meredith should not be able to get out of this. I'm going to go get a pot just like that one, and I'm going to sink, sink it into the ground. Since Meredith is a box turtle, turtles do still like to go in the water. They just prefer land, box turtles do at least. So I'm probably going to sink it in the ground right here so Meredith has a place to go and cool off during the hot day. Let me do that. All right, guys, so now I'm going to dig a hole, this shovel, for this bucket. So Meredith has a place to cool off. So now you can see it's fully sunken in into the ground. I'm gonna fill in around it with that dirt. And then I'm gonna fill it up with water, put a rock in there so she can climb out. And yeah, boom. Now as you can see, it is filled in. It just needs some water and a rock. Now Meredith's water is in. I have a hide, which I'm gonna go grab. And all I need to do now is put Meredith in. That's it. That's an easy way to build a tortoise slash box turtle slash really any kind of terrestrial reptile, which is a turtle. Yeah, let's go with that. But yeah, anything like that could live in this. Baby sulcatas, baby uh, redfoots, box turtles, wood turtles, you know, all those species would do fine in an environment like this. Maybe not sulcatas because of all the water, but the more humid loving semi-aquatic species could go just fine in an environment like this now it's time to add the new inhabitant to this lovely home that I've built I, I hope it's lovely at least there's our hide as you can see that hide is a lot bigger than the hides over there and that's mainly because of the way her shell is domed in those hides she wouldn't really fit in this one, she has plenty of headroom, so she doesn't hit the top of her shell. Yeah, this is her. This is Meredith. If it'll focus. A little Florida boxy. You can see, you got beautiful patterning on the shell. Like, wonderful patterning. I'm just going to put her down and let a montage run. And just like that, that is how you build an easy tortoise slash box turtle slash wood turtle enclosure. I'm gonna end the video how I started it out with my dogs because they're my dogs and I gotta let them out. And yeah, that's how you do it. So if you guys enjoyed, I got more content all over social media. Follow my Instagram at GabeLK and follow my TikTok at GabeLK. I'd really appreciate it if you did. I'll have the links in the description for you guys to click on. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.